Hey guys, I'm the Otaku Artist, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. In the last episode, we beat the Forest Temple and got our first few shadow. We have yet to learn what these are, but Minda wants all three of them for some reason. So, in this episode, we're going to explore outside of Farm Woods. So we're gonna go do that right now. I'm curious, what does Minda say? There are two more few shadows. Let's get a move on and find them both. Hurry, let's head to the Elden Provenance to the west. So we're going to go to Elden. Wow, this game is so pretty. Okay, so there he is. Okay, this rock, before you guys like are like, oh, it's over there. We can't do anything there yet. So don't worry. So yeah. Um... I don't know. Alright, I have one fairy. I think I'm good. So, let's go. Oh, one of my favorite Zelda songs ever. This is Hyrule Field. But not all of Hyrule Field. Don't worry, Hyrule Field isn't this small. It's huge. It's a, it's huge. It's bigly. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Anyway. Alright, so. As you can see, horse grass. Nothing happened. Very foreboding and ominous. So, we could just explore this, but there's not really anything we have to do here yet. So, we're gonna go this way. This is right to the Elden Provenance. If you are playing the GameCube version, it's on the right, and again, I don't know why you'd be watching this if you're playing the GameCube version. Or just normal mode of Twilight Princess HD, so yeah. Look, it's Hyrule Castle. That's where we were. Go no further! There is a black wall ahead that blocks the way! I thought I would deliver a few letters, but it seems impossible! I am the honorable and dependable letter carrier known to some as the Postman. Now that I have introduced myself, please! Take this letter and read it at your leisure. You can do that to read any letters you receive. Do it whenever you see fit. Well, my business concluded. Onward to mail! Alright, thank you, good sir, for my mail. Thank you. Did we get- yeah, we got mail. So this is our letters. You get letters throughout the game. So, this is a post office notice from the postman. If I have a letter for you, I will approach at high speed. Do not flee! <laughs> so, apparently, uh, well, if I see someone running up to me that looks like- and it looks like they're wearing underwear, I don't think I- I, I don't think I'd run, but I wouldn't be like, um, like, happy about it. <laughs> but yeah, that's the postman. The lovable, lovable postman. Alright, so. Oh, I never noticed that little piece of, uh, ivy growing there. So, we are going to go into the twilight. Hey, it was much closer than I thought. You remember, right? You know what this is? If you set foot in that in there, you might be a wolf again for quite some time. For at least as long as it takes for you to save the light of Elden from the twilight anyway. So, shall we try and go see the light spirit of Elden? <laughs> so, another thing of twilight. And I love how it gets dark when you get into the twilight. I always love that. So, here we go. Want me to let you into the twilight? And yet again, she can't find a easier way of dragging us in there. <laughs> way. <laughs> hmm. 
don't know why you got up, Link. You were gonna get transformed anyway. That's a good boy. Now you need to listen to what I say from now on. Oh, look how lovely. The black clouds of twilight are so fetching today. I feel so much more at ease here. And you look so much better like this than in those dusty old clothes anyway. <laughs> so, let's get going. So, again, this is our second toilet area. So, do 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 do. I real uh, some people don't like the toilet areas. I don't know why cuz it's really cool. Look. Remember when I said we weren't getting that sword back? I wasn't joking. As a wolf, this is one of the things we can do. Talo. Malo. Beth and Colin. You learn the youth scent. See, isn't a wolf being a wolf more convenient? Now, hone your senses. You've begun to reawaken as a wolf, I think. So, now we have learned a scent. So this, as a wolf, you can learn sense. And this, well, now we know where the Ordon children were led. Don't go over there, there's nothing there. So we just want to follow the scent. Doesn't look good. So we already have to, ooh. Oh, crap. That guy's going to scream again. I didn't mean to get both of you. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, let's get you there. And then, oh, what? That one of you killed me in one hit? Wait, wait, wait. Are you telling me that the Shadow Beasts do four hearts of damage in this version? Uh, like, hard mode plus Gandalf and Meeple? What the? What's this? That's strange. The bridge is gone. I wonder if this is the work of those shadow creatures. Ugh, what a pain. Ah, oh, well, let's look for it. You, get your map out. The yellow marks where we, the yellow arrow marks where we are. You knew that, right? Whenever you destroy those creatures from the darkness, a portal opens that looks like this on your map. You hear me? It's called a portal. You better remember that. And in those woods we came through, Yes, it's got to be somewhere around here. I'll use my power to take you to the location of, of the open portal. Pick where you want to go. So this is really helpful. So whenever we defeat a shadow beast, we can warp. So that's south and there's north. But we want to go to north farmlands because if you remember, yeah, I don't think, I don't, uh, one of these things were not like the other. If you remember, oh, it's like sunset. How pretty. And again, she's a shadow. See, I told you, we're here! You know, most people can't leave the twilight that easily, so you better be grateful. It's your job to look for the bridge. Look hard! Hmm, I wonder, look hard! Hmm, also, wait a minute. What happens if we talk to the little bird as a wolf? I can't, like, drink that, but, uh... Ah, it's rough having to watch a shop in this unpopular part of town. Oops, I didn't mean that. Excuse me. The other day, my master got mad at me for letting a thief steal stuff. I was so frustrated that I put water in the oil urn. I wonder what happens if you don't steal. Does he say a cu- Like, if you tipped him, does he say, a, c a customer came and gave me so much money, master was so proud. I wonder what happens. Even though I watch up this shop every day, he never shows any appreciation. I think my master probably didn't get much praise growing up. <laughs> oh, I, I, I'm very curious about that. Huh, so maybe at home you guys can try that out and see if he says something different. One of these things is not like the other. Wow, it's perfect, don't you think? What do you think? Shall we take it? Hey, have you looked around at all? That thing doesn't look like it belongs here, does it? Yeah, I don't think so. The more I look at it, the more perfect it becomes. Maybe you just don't understand. You should have listened to me from the beginning. I love that if you say, uh, just talk to her, she says different things. Which is really cool.
I wonder if anyone's like just standing in the background watching and like, what the heck? The it's flying! <laughs> yeah, but we're in Farnwoods, Woods, in this unpopular part of town, as the little parrot said. Oh, yeah. I hope you put some very strong glue on the bridge, Minda. See? Just as I thought. <laughs> so, isn't the power of Twilight amazing? Call me if you need the power again. It should help you find what you're we're looking for, don't you think? Alright, let's keep going. Alright, so we're going to continue, and looks like they went straight this path. And these are vocal blends. Yes, they look like this in the Twilight. It's interesting because all uh, enemies look different in the Twilight. And this can kill things in one hit hit, so... It's pretty nice to kill enemies like that. So, yep, looks like they came. Over here. And, uh, there's blood on the gate. Huh. What are they doing there? This is a pretty elaborate gate. What are they trying to keep in? Or out? I bet it'll be worth our while to dig in. So, we can't open gate, so... Good thing we're a wolf, or Link would have to somehow climb over this. I don't even know how you would do that. So, uh, yep, and I'd like to kill you guys. That'd be nice. I mean, oh no! I Whoa! Two for the price of one, baby! Okay, so we're gonna go into this gated area. Kakariko Village. A lot different than Ocarina Time, eh? Looks like there's Shadow Beasts here as well. Okay. Oh, no, no, no! Oh, crap! Gosh dang it! Okay, I'll go over there instead. Okay. There. Okay, that was easy. But I can't believe they kill you in one hit. At the moment. Well, I guess it does make sense because they did do one heart in, like, normal. To the hero who was transformed into a blue-eyed beast in the realm of shadows, in twilight, this way. Are you gonna give me some grapes too? I am a spirit of light, hero chosen by the gods. Look for my light, gather the light stolen by the shadows into this. You got some more grapes! <laughs> you got a bit of light. It's crucial to collecting the tears of light. Yep. If you fill it with tears of light, you will be able to cut through the twilight and return normal light to this place. To see those evils that hold the tears light, use your senses. The insects of darkness. They are the form taken by the evil that attaches itself to my scattered light. In this shadowy twilight, the shadow insects are invisible, much as the people from your light world are. With the last of my power, let me mark your map. With the locations of the tears that have turned into shadow insects. But be careful, the darkness now hunts you. Ooh, that kind of sounds like a movie title, doesn't it? The darkness hunts you. Kind of does. So, we have a lot of stuff, but... Wait, I'm curious. Yep, let's check here. Cripes! How the heck am I supposed to babysit someone else's little brats when I ought to be saving myself? Doesn't seem like a very nice person. So, before we go anywhere else, we're gonna go here. Hey, you can climb up here! 
So before we get any tears of light, we're gonna go up here. I don't see those black brutes anywhere. They've gotta be hiding somewhere, waiting for their helpless little prey to come out. Then they'll feast. We are safe as long as we remain in here, child. Be at ease. Oh yeah? I wonder if the monsters out there agree with you. They sure didn't seem impressed by my bombs. How long do you think we can hold this sanctuary against beasts that strong, huh? Once they attack, it's over. Remember the lady from the general store? Just one of those things attacked her, and a whole gang from town went to save her. And what happened? She was already gone, and there were two monsters waiting. You connecting the dots? That means if we get attacked by them, then we'll be... Bonds! Look, Renato, all I mean to say is that it's risky here, too. Ain't you got some place we can hide? There is a cellar. <laughs> what? You got a cellar? Where's the entrance, man? The entrance to the cellar is designed to open when all the candles have been lit. I would not do that. When father instructs me to secure the cellar, I saw insects like the beasts outside. Don't cry, Beth. It'll be okay. Link is coming to save us all. I can feel it. I love that scene. So these kids knew you'd come to save them. What a hero! How sad to be right in front of someone and not be noticed at all. <laughs> you are chosen by the gods, and only that keeps you from turning to a spirit, or worse, into a dark monster when you enter twilight. And no one knows where you, what you have done. You may be doomed to twill in obscurity forever. You're the type to worry about everything, I can tell. But don't fret over Princess Zelda. She chose this state of affairs, after all. Anyway, what's with having the light candles to get into the basement? Not very subtle, is it? So, what are you going to do now, my lonely little hero? <laughs> so what we have to do is, first of all, let me see if they have anything interesting to say. Cripes, seems like everyone's trying to pull a fast one these days. Boy, I don't have a clue who this Link fella is. But I've gotta say, I ain't overly confident he's gonna come save this village. If only you knew. As things are now, it is likely safest for us to remain here. Well, let's try something. Boop, boop. Okay, so this will... Run out, and you don't want to click on A, because that won't make you dash, that will make you throw it. So what we want to do is just run over here. Very, very easy. Do 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 do! Okay. Throw! I don't- he hasn't noticed, but look. What sorcery is this? The entrance to the cellar opening on its own. Could those beasts have engineered even this? So, yeah, everyone's like, oh. And then there's just Malo, who doesn't really have an expression. He's just like, oh well. Guess we're gonna die anyway. <laughs> oh, he's so weird. 
Alright, so down here, we have two Shadow Bees. Oh no, three. I was gonna say three, but then I only saw two. Okay. Easy. There we go. Boop. Okay, so... Here we have what looks to be some ancient stuff, and that is not Hylian, that is like some ancient Egyptian Hylian stuff. Seriously, there's nothing up there. What you want to do is come in here and... How about that? Looks like you can climb the scaffolding. So... Boop, boop, boop. Okay. So... Come on. There we go. We broke free into the well. It's the graveyard. Now, interestingly enough, in beta footage, there is another graveyard that is that is not this graveyard. It is a completely different graveyard at all. And it's kind of sad that they took it away because I would like to have two graveyards in this game. Come on, I love creepy stuff in Zelda games. And look, if you played Ocarina of Time, you'll know that that symbol is very, very important. Not gonna say anything else though. And that's it. That's all there is here at the moment. Um, we, we're gonna come back here later. Also, is that- wait, that's Hylian. Huh. You know what? Future me, um, decipher this in Hylian, and I'll put up what on screen it says. And then with these two as well, I'll put up what that says on screen. Okay? You can pause if you want to read it. Oh boy. I- uh, that's that's gonna be very interesting cipher. It's gonna suck though if I decipher it and it's in Japanese and then I'll have to see if Google Translate can help me. <laughs> and I know before you say don't use Google Translate, I know I want it, but uh. also General so store. This is the general store and wait, those are swords? I've always thought oh no, those are um so uh like a red X? That's what I always thought they were. I didn't never notice they were swords. So we're gonna go into the general store, and this is the store where that woman was killed. <laughs> or she wasn't killed in the store, but this is her store. Okay, so... In here... Where is it? Wait. Is it not here? Really? Wait a minute. I c Wait a minute. It's not in here? I could have sworn. Wait. No, it's not. That's so bizarre. Because I am 99% sure that there was a light, uh, a bug in that house. In the. Wii version and GameCube version. I'm a little bit confused, but uh, you c do not jump across from here. Hotel sets no responsibility for accidents. So uh, that is so weird. I'm pretty sure in one of the boxes there was a bug. Okay, I'm gonna look that up and uh, see if that's true. You guys will see it on screen if I was right or not, because I'm pretty sure. So what we're gonna do is, as you can see on the map, there's another one here, so... Boop! Oh, come on! Boop! There. And... I was gonna throw that, not place it nicely and neatly. Remember, you gotta always have manners, even if you're a wolf. <laughs> da 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 Okay. Okay, so... Kill you. Boop. Okay. And now... We got a treasure chest, which only has rupees. It's just 20 rupees. Nothing special. But money always helps. So we're in... This is the hotel that we just read about. Hey, it's a sandalier. Okay, so... I'm 90% sure of that. That was uh, in the original. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, 10 rupees. Sweet. And. Boop. And I'm pretty sure it was in these two, but 
Uh, I I'm not as sure as I was about that one. Even though I thought there was one in here. I don't think there was a. I I yeah, I'm not I'm not as. I thought I killed you. Excuse me, sir. I'm sorry, but we don't accept monsters that are alive here. I'm sorry, but this hotel is a strictly no monster policy. Yeah. There's just a bunch of Pokemons outside holding signs. Stop racism against Pokemon. <laughs> okay. All right. Stop racism against Pokemons. And there's like all these monsters out there that are holding signs. Also, if you're wondering, this is the hot spring. But uh, the hot spring is empty for some reason. I don't know why, but in the twilight, it's always empty. What we want to do now is I came up here for nothing. Whee! And yeah, we survived that. We're not a cat, but cats survive really high falls, so apply that logic to this. And we're gonna fall down here. Maybe this is something I'm thinking of. No, cause I- Okay, I'm gonna just shut up about that because, eh. Oh! Okay. Well, come on. Yes, give it to me, and I'm a little bit- wait. Interesting that those pictures are there. Huh. They look kind of funny. It's supposed to be like a sumo wrestler, but uh, it looks kind of funny. <laughs> so we're gonna go up here and... Oh, or excuse me, right here. I mean, is like... If you're done with your errand, then let's get out of here. So... Thank you, man. Whoa, that was an interesting camera angle. Okay. Okay. And now we're gonna be like, screw you bats, and go over here, which is the bomb shop. So, yeah. You know, there is so much Hylian around here that I'm like... I'm, I'm, I really want to, like, just trans like this. But then it, it, it... Wait. Is Twilight Princess language English? Or it translates to Japanese? Because there's one of my... There's... I think it's... Uh, oh, I might be thinking of it in here, but hmm. Hmm, I'm trying to think. Um, I think it was the Four Swords Hylian that translate into Japanese, or like the Ocarina of Time one translate into Japanese. But like the Hylian, uh, for this Zelda game, I think is English. Anyway, we got this is. Danger, keep out, Barnes. So, this is where Barnes keeps his bombs. Because Barnes keeps uh, runs a bomb shop. And this is his, like, supply room. And looks like they're hiding in the fireplace. Not the best place to hide. So, hmm, look at all these bombs. Better light this on fire. Nothing bad's gonna happen. Oh, wait. Huh? What did you do? Sorry, but as romantic as this is, I'm not going to stay here with you. I'm getting out. Minda out? Okay, so forget about- Oh, no. wait, 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 wait. I have never died here. I have never even gotten hit here. And oh my gosh, does it restart your progress, like, from the last save? No, okay, that's fine. Okay, just saying- that was really dumb, because it's, like, random in the areas it can explode in. And the thing is, I was literally right next to where we're supposed to get out. So, that was a little dumb. Yes, yes, yes. That's the second time I've died, and it really wasn't my fault. So, we just want to run out. I just got hit. How am I not dead? Or am I going to die when we get out? I don't know. Yeah, I wonder what happens if you die when you're, cl uh, climb, like... Crawling through space. Hmm, I wonder if that makes a glitch happen. Huh. What? One heart. Oh my gosh. Oh, I still need- I have to put on- Oh, I survived because I didn't have the Gandorf in me, Vaughn. Oh, uh, yeah. I'll put that back on. Don't worry. Hmm. I don't suppose there's any nice way to hunt these things, huh? Well, you have to sacrifice someone's house to find tears of light. Well, that's how the cookie crumbles, right? Okay, so I'm gonna get these, and now I'm going to put Ganner from Evil back on. But 
that's really stupid that I died twice. One was because I was about, I was literally equipping, and also you can uh, hold these little pieces for some reason. It's kind of funny. I don't know why, but you can hold the pieces of the sign and of the rubble. Anyway, but that's like the second time I died for like no reason, because back in the forest temple, I was literally equipping the potion to drink it. And then I died. And then here, it was just because of a random explosion. Oh my gosh, dang it, I missed. I don't know if that actually can kill them or not. Huh. So, we're gonna crawl down here. Because that's what we do. And here's another house. And there is going to be some... Is there nothing? Oh, that's right! I, I just remembered something! In... The HD version of Twilight Princess. In the original, there's like... How many life spirits do we have right now? I mean, like, what's the maximum? Let me see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, it's 12, but I'm pretty sure that in the originals, we in GameCube, it was 15, and in this version, like, 3 were cut out. So, yeah, like, in that house there was one, where I thought there was one. So, yeah, that's what I was thinking of. So, I was correct. There is one. See, I've only beaten this version once. So, yeah. Also, yeah. Don't go down there. So, we're gonna go this way. Death Mountain. Doo -doo. Okay, excuse me, Flying Shadow Beast. So, that's- so, I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. Don't worry. I'm not crazy. <laughs> so, it looks like we have another spirit. And also, um, so that's why I couldn't find the lights that, the, the, the insects when I thought I, they were in the room. Looks like the path's impassable, but I can get you up if you want to go. So, yeah. Boop. It's a Goron. Oh, why do I have to stand guard? The ladder is destroyed, so it is not like any humans will come up. And what is with the elders? If we have a problem the humans can, he can help with, we should ask. It is better than suffering for the sake of pride. And by the way, yes, I do voice the Gorons like that. Because the thing is, that is how I've always voiced the Gorons. Because even when I... I know this is my first Let's Play, but before I even started Let's Playing, when I used to play it for a time and all of those games... Oh, excuse me. Um... I would always voice, because I just had fun voicing it, thing is, before Breath of the Wild, where they gave an actual voice to the Gorons, a Gorons like Daruk, his, that's a great Goron voice. But for all other um, Gorons, except for like, Elders or something like Daruk or something like that, I always picture them to talk like this. I don't really know why, but this is always how I've pictured Gorons to talk. Just a goofy kind of funny voice. Because... Since they're another race in Zelda, they should have an accent. Also, this is hot air, it will damage you, don't touch it. Also, look, it's the Shikta symbol. Oh, we can do it now? Okay, so, before we do that, before we listen, like it wants us to, um, we're gonna dig up you. Okay, uh, come here. Excuse me, excuse me. There we go. And then you'll die, please. There we go. Oh! It doesn't restore all your health, it restores one heart. That's really, really nice. So, we are going to listen. Oh, I messed up. <laughs> And, if you're a true Zelda fan, that song should, feel, should sound familiar to you. And look, it's Ocarina Time Link, I mean, uh, Ocarina Time Link again. And Mida is not here with us.
Let teachings of old pass to you. Take sword in hand and find me. That is the first of our Howling Stones. This is how you unlock those ancient sword skills. You howl on a stone and then uh, Wolf Link, well, Ocarina of Time Wolf Link, will appear in, a, in an area of the map. You go to him and then you learn another skill. So, don't worry. So, I'm doing 100% let the play, so of course I'm going to get them all. And it's really, really cool. And every single song is from a Zelda game. So, that song was the song killing from Majora's Mask. So it's really, really cool that it's like a little Easter egg and stuff, and it's Majora's Mask, so it's like, oh my gosh, Ocarina of Time, like, singing, if you could call it singing, uh, the Song of Healing, which is really, really cool! I'm pretty sure all the songs are from, like, yeah, like, I don't think there's, like, they're all from, like, Ocarina of Time or Majora's Mask, I think. Anyway, so this is actually somewhere I did die before on um, my first one too because it's kind of scary. It's kind of scary. So what I mentioned is, oh no no, is kill these two first and then kill these two in a grip. That's what I like to do because it's easier that way. Oh no, oh no, oh no. I am the dang wolf. Time to kill you again. And don't worry, hitting the wall won't kill you. It won't hurt you, I'm sorry, I'm sad, I'm sorry. Can someone notice me, senpai? Oh, no, 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 don't notice me that way. Excuse me, there. Okay, we're done, there we go. We killed them. And also, it looks like this episode's running a little bit long. But I'm gonna, f don't worry, I'm just gonna finish up the Tears of Light thing, and then we'll be done with this episode. Oh, wait, yeah, I was gonna say, before we go, there should be one right there. Oh, don't let your cute me. Okay. Now, I don't know how much damage these things do. So, now we have one left. It would be more if you were playing the original. But, if you're playing the Wii version and you're playing long, don't worry. It's on the map, so it shouldn't be too hard to find the others. Why do I have to stun guard at the dead end at the bottom of a cliff, li cliff like this? Wait a second. Have they tucked me out of the way because they think I am useless? Uh oh. Ugh. I do not like m being made an outcast on the fringes like this. If I see anyone suspicious, I am going to show my strength. Yes, I will send the trespasser flying. Oh, 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 okay. I think he might kill me. So, oh, oh my gosh, that was scary. Because if I die, I don't have to start this all over again. And I'm glad it doesn't start you from your last save because, oh boy, that'd be a pain. Ah, oh, dang it. Come on. Now the last one's down there, but first let's talk to the Goron boy. <laughs> Psst, hot! Another fumarole! And once again, it is the worst possible place! I'm, I suppose this path is impassable now. This path is impassable, mm -hmm. <laughs> If I were to go down that way, I would get knocked back in an instant. I am sure of it. If my legs were as strong as the elder's legs, I might be able to stop my way down there. So we can't go past here. We can't. So don't even try. And da, 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 da. I should probably be careful. I should probably just rush this. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! You're trying to kill me? Well, I'm invincible, baby. <laughs> Link like puts on some dudes. Aww, I was just starting to have fun. Don't forget that few shadow. <laughs> See you later. My name is Elden. I am one of the light spirits of Hyrule. I am the spirit 
that guards these lands. O oh, great hero, chosen by the gods. The dark power you seek lies in the sacred grounds of the proud mountain dwellers. But already those grounds have been defiled, draped in shadow, and seeded with evil. You must go to those sacred grounds and cleanse them. Link would save us. You are the one from Ordon who these children spoke of? We are well met. I am Renato, shaman of this town. And this? This is my daughter, Luda. The beast took us and left us to die, but Mr. Renato found us. At first, I couldn't believe they had come from so distant a place as the Ordon Providence. Yeah, I... we don't remember much. All of a sudden, everyone was captured, and then, until now, it's been like... a nightmare. Yeah, it was like a terrible dream when we couldn't wake up. Hmm, nightmares are everywhere these days, it seems. This village has certainly seen its share of recent hardships. The dark beasts attacked, but even worse was the sudden and inexplicable change in the mountain-dwelling Loran tribe. They had long been our friends, but suddenly treated us as foes. Even now they refused to permit us entry into their minds. It strains the limits of belief to think that such a gentle and proud tribe could change so suddenly. It makes me wonder if something in those minds is the cause of this change. In any case, you must take these children and flee this village before more nightmares descend. I, of course, cannot leave my village in such a time. There is no telling what may happen to us the here. But... It is my job to try to coax the Gorns back from their recent change of heart. Link, you're the hero. You have to fix all of our problems. Come on, Link. Can't you do something? Isn't there some way to make up with the Gorns? You think someone could go to the mines and do something? Well, that's what we're gonna do next time. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. So, in the next episode, we're gonna try to go coax the Gorons back to being friends. So, in, so see you guys next time. I'm the Otaku Artist, and goodbye!